Hey, good to see you, fourth grade. How's it going? Mr. Osborne here. Well, we've been studying some pretty cool stuff. We've been looking at dynamics. We've been looking at articulation. We've been looking at some different musical concepts that help us learn even more about music than what we currently know. And that's a cool thing. And this slide right here is uh, moving along in that same direction. This is actually a study of woodwinds, and I was able to find some really cool stuff about woodwinds. So just like a snowman, I thought we would build from the bottom up. And so the first thing I want you to look at is down here on the very first part of the snowman, you'll click on this and you'll click on this and this will come up and you will see um, a grouping of musical woodwind uh, family instruments and it'll start with piccolo so you can click here and listen to the sound of the piccolo and while you're listening you can either click one at a time on the different parts of the musical instrument or you can just click on this and reveal everything all at once so there's the piccolo which is about the half size of the flute and then you have the flute And then the oboe, which is what we call a single reed instrument. I mean, uh, excuse me. <laughs> oboe is a double reed instrument. Yeah, there's a big difference. So, yeah, it has two reeds, one over each other like this, kind of like a convex and concave design. And uh, that reed is actually there, the double reed. And then we have keys that you press to change the pitches. And then the sound, of course, will come out the bell. And it sounds like this. Then we have the clarinet, and again, you can reveal this. Now, clarinet and saxophone, um, they're both what we call a single reed. So there's a single reed, uh, which is like a little piece of balsa wood that's thinned down to a thin um, slice, and then you get that wet, and then that reed vibrates up against this mouthpiece that is held onto the mouthpiece with this ligature here. And then that's put on the barrel, and then you have the head joint and the foot joint and the bell, and then, of course, here's your clarinet. And it sounds like this. All right, moving to the bassoon. This is another double reed instrument like the oboe. And this, you'll see here, they kind of give you a more close-up look at it. Almost as they give you a side view and, a, and, and like if you were looking at it as you were getting ready to play it kind of view. So you can see the, the um, upper and lower reeds, the way they're set. Um, and then they're all kind of wrapped together there. And then that goes on to what we call a vocal. That little metal piece there is called the vocal or the crook, shepherd's crook. And then the, the sound travels down through here. It goes through the boot joint. Then it comes up through the bass joint. And then finally comes out the bell joint. And here, of course, are the keys that you press to play the different pitches. And it sounds like this. Yeah, and finally the bass clarinet, which is like a super big version of the clarinet. It's like if you put two or three or four clarinets together, that's about the length of this instrument. Um, and it's obviously a little bit wider, too, and you get a deeper, lower sound. And there again, you can reveal the mouthpiece, the neck, the keys, and the bell. Very similar to the regular clarinet, only there's a few extra things. And it sounds like this. Good. And you can listen to more of that. I'm just taking brief time because I didn't want to take too long in the video. I wanted you to really be able to get in there and have fun with this. Um, the next thing that you'll press on, of course, will be the saxophone. And then you'll press on that. And then this will come up and it will show you the four different types of saxophones. Um, and it has this button here where it shows classical and jazz. And so when you do that, when you press this, it plays a classical style of song. You press this, gives you a jazzier version of what this instrument is capable of. And that'll happen with the alto, which is obviously a lot bigger. The tenor. By the way, did you know one of our presidents in the United States actually played one of these? Yeah, actually, President Bill Clinton. And he actually was from Arkansas. So that's kind of cool. Two things right there. And um, 
And then finally, the baritone sax, which is a big, big instrument, and it sounds really low, and it sounds like this. There's a mouthpiece in that keys and the bell. And you can listen to the classical version of that too. Okay, finally, in our study of woodwinds is the recorders, and you may still have yours from last year if you uh, did recorders in third grade. Um, you may have some right now in fourth grade. It just depends on where you're at, what school you're going to, and what your school is actually doing with recorders, if you guys are doing any, anything with recorders at all. Um, at home, you could definitely play it because you're socially distanced and you could you know, play in your room or whatever. Um, we cannot do that yet here at school. So that's one of the things that uh, we're looking forward to. So anyway, you'll hit that and then it'll bring up um, this slide and I'll show you the different sizes, like the bass, the tenor, the alto, and the soprano. And that's probably the one that you got is, is the soprano. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. I've had a whole lot of fun opening this up for you. Um, learn from it, uh, figure out some things, and have a great day.